the U.S. men's team were also the favorites to win this event. They were also the favorites to win the 4x100 relay. The problem was they haven't won it in 24 years. The men have won this event 15 times, but they haven't won it in the past six Olympics because of baton pass failures. And what do you know? It happened again. Team USA, without Noah Lyles because he had COVID, botched the handoff. So Christian Coleman was the replacement. Um, Kenny Benarek was running the second leg. Kyrie King running the third leg. And uh, Fred Curley, he was the anchor leg to bring it home. Fred Curley and Kenny Bednarik already have medals. Kyrie King and Christian Coleman do not. And uh, Coleman botched the pass to Kenny Bednarik. You see it right there. They were, they were very much struggling to get that pass off. It set USA back about two seconds, and it also earned them a disqualification. Bednarik... Uh, had to nearly stop completely to accept the baton. The exchange was late, and in the end, they ran out of the zone. Coleman ran too fast. He passed the baton out of the zone. That was why they were disqualified. They would not have won a medal either way, though. They would not have won a medal either way. So that is now 28 straight years of the USA not winning this event. Carl Lewis, Legendary track star says, it is time to blow up the system. This continues to be completely unacceptable. It is clear that everyone at USA Track and Field is more concerned with relationships than winning. No athlete should step on the track and run another relay until this program is changed top to bottom. Wow. You have to wonder what could have happened if Noah Lyles was there. Because again, Coleman was not meant to be part of this team. And he was the guy who botched the pass. Excuse me. So, if Noah Lyles had been there, would things have gone differently? Maybe. Um, but it's hard to say because Team USA has struggled with this thing before. Um, let's talk about Team Canada, though. Team Canada, impressive performance from them. Uh, their 4x100 relay team anchored by one of the most successful Olympians of all time. Andre de Grasse of Canada. Now tying Penny Alexiak as Canada's most decorated Olympian with seven medals. Andre de Grasse has been going to Andre de Grasse has been running for Canada since 2012. He ran the anchor leg. Canada posting a winning time of 37.5. Aaron Brown, Jerome Blake, Brendan Rodney. They won the silver in Tokyo. They win the gold here. So impressive for Andre de Grasse. He's now he's a 29-year-old sprinter. He won a bronze in Rio, a silver in Tokyo. He is a former gold medalist um, years ago. But at 29 years old, people kind of counted him out for these Olympics. So it's kind of a cool story to see him be able to get out there and take a gold medal. South Africa, they win the silver medal. And again, impressive for them. I don't think they've ever won a medal at this event before? Maybe they have. Maybe they have. Uh, but they win a silver medal. South African sprinter... South African sprinter Akani Simbin winning his first medal of the games. Bradley Nakona, Bayanda Walaza, and Sean Maswagani of Team South Africa. They claimed the silver medal, which is a place that I think the USA wishes they could have been. Simbani ran a really, really good night. He almost made the 100-meter final. But he ran an 8.78 in the final leg. South Africa sets an African record in the event. 37.57 seconds. Shout out to Bradley Nakona at just 19 years old. And Bayanda Walaza at 20 years old for Team South Africa. Way to go. 